Hello my lovely friends! This video is a practical meditation guide for beginners. This is not a guided meditation, it's just my personal story and how I learned how to meditate. I will share with you what the benefits of meditation are, a few of my favorite apps and how to learn how to meditate in silence and how to close yourself from sound and from people. So just to be clear, I'm Zoe, I'm not a Buddhist monk, I'm just trying to get a little bit more zen in a very chaotic and messed up world. You don't need to look like a hippie or think spiritual stuff or whatever. It actually turned out that a lot of top managers and entrepreneurs and successful people meditate daily. They use meditation to remain themselves and keep themselves grounded. It's actually one of my biggest wishes that people would see meditation a little bit more like going to the gym. You go to the gym for your physical health and you could try to do meditation for your mental health. And I do think this is a possibility as long as we normalize the meditation practice. So about my personal story. A few years ago, I bought this book called Meditation for Beginners, but I never read it. In the meantime, I read a few articles. I looked up some videos, but I didn't really know anything at all about it, but I started practicing. So there was this one day where I just got up and realized that I wanted to practice it. So I got up, sat in the cross-legged position, closed my eyes, and all I could think was, what the fuck? What the fuck am I doing? And I think this is actually quite normal if you do it for the first time. You really don't understand what you're doing or what you should think or whatever. But at least I was practicing it. And it also shows you that it won't show the benefits right away. It actually needs a lot of time, practice and perseverance to notice the benefits. Having that little what the fuck moment isn't weird, you just have to give in to it. The main thing that's important to realize when you start off maybe like that is just that your body and your mind is trying to learn to sit still and be silent. So it really took me two to three years to get used to meditation. And now three years later, I can say I'm honestly addicted. If I don't do it, I miss it quite soon. That's because I notice the difference throughout the day already immediately. So for instance, I'm quite calm. Uh, people around me also notice it. I'm mentally quite strong and calm. I don't get frustrated easily. I'm not irritated easily. I can handle it fine when people judge me. I don't judge other people in general. And these are just a few of the benefits, but I have a few more. Ever since I started meditation, I noticed that I'm way calmer throughout the whole day, no matter how bad or chaotic the days may be. My way of thinking is quite efficient and there aren't a lot of errors in my head anymore, you know? So maybe you'll recognize that you can get frustrated or annoyed quite easily during the day, no matter what happens, you can get frustrated by the tiniest little things. And meditation really helped me with not giving in to these feelings and remaining calm. In general, I sleep very well. But let's say I sat behind a laptop or a TV just before going to bed and I meditate for five to 10 minutes just before going to bed, I, there we go again, become calmer again. And then I sleep very well. You just have this sort of peace over you after meditation and it really helps with just falling asleep really easily. I'm actually also a big fan of visualizing and writing down what I'm grateful for. Visualizing helps you with uh, realizing what you would like to have in the future and writing down what you're grateful for helps you with realizing um, where you came from. Meditation really fits in this picture because it really helps you with living in the now. By meditating, you usually get very conscious in where you are, sometimes literally, like the location, or sometimes in general, like in life. You can even get very conscious of little pains or tension in your body, and you can learn how to listen to it. Because of the effects that I just told you about, I constantly have the feeling that I'm in good balance. So of course I want to have my finances in order, I want my house to be clean, I want the groceries to be done. Of course it helps with feeling balanced if those things are taken care of, but meditation helps you to feel balanced no matter what happens. By meditating you get very conscious in who you are or what's going on in your life but you also really get your thoughts in order. Some people think that meditation is really thinking about nothing. And although it's true in some way, it's actually not possible all the time. This is only possible for a very short period of time. You will notice that there's a lot of thoughts constantly, all the time. The Buddhists even call this the monkey mind. We're constantly chatting in our mind. But with meditation, you will learn to see these thoughts as clouds drifting by. They just come and go. And by practicing it in this way, you will train your brain and you will get your thoughts in order quite well. 
Especially when you do guided meditation, you get remembered quite often to listen to your breath. So the exercises usually begin by breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. And you usually have to do this like five or 10 times in a row. And then the meditation continues with just breathing through the nose. Because of these breathing exercises, I'm usually way calmer throughout the day and I remind myself to keep on breathing in a normal pace. And by doing this, I experience way more peace and less stress throughout the day as well. The strange thing even is that I can nowadays get rid of my hiccups. When I have hiccups, I have breathing exercises and I get rid of them like in a few seconds. That's crazy. I can imagine that you might think that meditation is doing nothing or like a status of falling asleep, but it's actually the exact opposite. It's actually making your conscious wide awake. Therefore, you become very alert on what's going on in your life or what you want to do. So for instance, attention, focus, dealing with stress, impulse control and self-consciousness will get developed way more because of meditation. And then, yes, yes, last but not least, I don't fear death anymore because of meditation. And this might sound like a vague one, but with meditation, you learn how to separate your thoughts and therefore your mind from your body. But there are actually many more benefits. These are just a few and very much on a personal level for me. But scientific research by now has really shown that there are so many more beautiful benefits. For example, it appears that people are kinder to people and it's also a great way to learn how to accept yourself. So therefore it's extremely personal what the benefits will be for you and therefore you just need to start and practice it and you'll probably notice one of these benefits for sure. Those little what the fuck moments that I just told you about are completely normal and you'll probably have them as well, but it's completely fine to have them. You just have to accept that that's the case and that it needs practice. But one of the main difficulties with starting with meditation is that you have no idea what you're doing and therefore you probably have the feeling that you're wasting your time. Also because you don't feel the benefits yet. Therefore it's so important that you really want this for yourself and that you keep on practicing for yourself. Your intrinsic motivation has to be so high that you're willing to give yourself the time to learn it. Okay, so here's how you meditate. When you're trying to learn how to meditate, try to find a silent place where you can sit comfortable. You don't need to sit in a lotus or a half lotus. You can also just sit on a chair or you can even do it standing up. Lay your hands where you want them, so I usually do like this on my knees just because I like the feeling of energy coming in and that it feels open but you can also just easily put them on your lap or on your knees the main important thing is that they're relaxed then you close your eyes and you listen to your breath you can also start with what I just told you by breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth for a few times in a row but throughout the meditation you just meditate throughout the nose you'll probably notice that you start breathing calmer because of this little exercise then you have to learn to see your thoughts as clouds you might recognize the feeling that a thought is owning you as if you're just completely in that thought while with meditating you sort of take a look at your thought so usually you have a lot of thoughts and while meditating you notice that there's a lot of thoughts all over and if you see them as clouds you can just look at them and they just drift by and they go away or they come back. Very important to realize is that you don't judge your own thoughts while meditating. You just look at them. So as soon as you realize you're in the middle of a thought, you can sort of jump out of the thought again and look at it again instead of being in the thought. So really try to see the thoughts as clouds, try to make your mind clear and keep the focus on your breath. Now, of course, you can do this for five minutes, for 10 minutes, for half an hour, it doesn't really matter. But for beginners, I would just say, begin with 10 minutes each day. Maybe that's even too long. I know that for some people that's even too long. When I was in a very busy time in my life, I didn't do it for 10 minutes every day, but I did it for five minutes and even that helped. So you can also try it for five minutes, that's fine as well. After meditation, it's nice to not get up right away, but take a look on how you're actually feeling. Try to begin your day in a calm and easy way. And it's fine if you do that only for five seconds. So if you're a true beginner and you have that what the fuck moment, it's completely normal to have that. And the main important thing for meditation is that you shouldn't judge yourself. We're all human beings, we all have thoughts and we all have to deal with them. So it probably doesn't feel so natural in the beginning. It probably maybe even feel uncomfortable to sit still and try to listen to your consciousness. That's because we're used to running all the time. 
That's the monkey mind that I just told you about. We're just chatting to ourselves constantly. Even when we think we're relaxing and we're watching Netflix or whatever, we're still running in our mind. You never take a second to actually listen to yourself throughout the day. And this is just one little moment to do it. So that's why I'm actually addicted to it now because you will actually really see it as a little treat. You have so much more things clear in your mind that you will benefit from it every single day. But at first you just have to get used to it. What's really handy to realize is that we can get used to certain things if we do it consistently for three weeks in a row. So it might be very handy for you to say to make it a challenge. For example, try to meditate every morning after waking up for 10 minutes for 21 days in a row. If 10 minutes is too long, make it five. Like I told you, you will probably feel the benefits even from a few minutes every single day. And who knows, you might like it. What can really help in learning how to meditate is doing guided meditations. You can download so many good meditation apps in which people will guide you throughout the meditation. The person in the meditation can tell you what you could think of, but also of course what you could not think of. Almost every meditation app wants to make money out of the app. They usually have a free program for beginners, so that's really useful. And the nice thing about it is that you can try it out, you can listen to the voice, and if you like the voice of the person, you can maybe purchase the extended version of the app. The first app that I really like is Headspace. Headspace is a quite well-known meditation app. Nice thing about this app is that it's a really modern app and that the design is really nice and it's a guy Andy who will guide you and the nice thing also is that there is no spa music in the background involved. The tryout program is called Take 10 in which you can do a 10 minute meditation for 10 days in a row. Extra nice about this app is that it sometimes uses animation and videos as well and it shows you how the mind works or how to sit or how to breathe. Another app that I really like is called Stop, Breathe and Think. Also the design of this one is really awesome but it's especially awesome because it asks you how you're feeling. When you open the app it asks you how are you and then you can answer how you feel emotionally, physically and mentally. The app then does the math and gives you a few suggestions of meditation sessions that fit your mood. The one short, the other longer. It also contains some nice texts about learning how to meditate and it also has some other meditation sessions about specific subjects such as falling asleep easily or getting conscious of your breath. Also nice about this app is that you can include how you feel after the meditation so you will see your progression in statistics. It also shows how many more people are meditating and using the app at that same time which can also be quite stimulating. So another app that I really like is called Calm. It also has a program for beginners but I mainly like this app if you're one stage further. So it also has scenes and unguided meditation in which there is only a bell for like every five minutes, for example. So it will keep you alert while doing an unguided meditation. I think Calm is a really good app in learning how to meditate in silence because meditation in silence for me is like the pure essence of what meditation is. Sometimes I have the feeling that meditation with guided apps like these is more a way of mindfulness because they make you think about certain things as well which is also completely fine and it also teaches you some basics about meditation but learning how to meditate in silence really makes you aware of your own consciousness I learned how to meditate in silence by simply doing it. So like I just told you, in busy times I made it a habit to just meditate for five minutes in silence. Five minutes maybe doesn't sound that long and of course in fact it really isn't but if you have a busy day it can really still help you with becoming calm and having a more productive day. And I think because I started off small I got used to silence and I wanted more. So because of meditation I really hear myself now and it's basically the only time of the day that I I'm really with myself without any distraction. As soon as you end up in no man's land, that's sort of like a blank space in your brain where you're not thinking about anything, you know that you're truly meditating. And without a doubt, of course, there will be another thought in no time, but that's just simply a part of the game. When I learned how to meditate, I couldn't really focus when there were people in the house or when there was noise or sounds around me. I could only do it when it was completely silent. So therefore a lot of circumstances kept me from doing it. Until a friend of mine said, why don't you make a challenge of it? And that actually completely changed my mindset. I learned how to deal with people or sounds around me while I meditate in silence. You just have to remember two things, acceptance and saying fuck it. 
So for example, when I was here in South Africa and I was only here for a few days and I met this girl, we went hiking. She also liked meditation and we stumbled upon a beautiful waterfall. And I was just thinking like, oh my God, I have to do a little meditation here. So I said it to her that I would like to do it there. And it was actually the first time that I sort of did it with somebody else. That sounds so weird. <laughs> Basically, it wasn't weird at all. It was actually amazing. And later on, we went uh, together also to a collective meditation on Camps Bay Beach, which I also vlogged about. And there were literally thousands of people there. And so many people were watching and making videos and laughing about it. But I just couldn't care less. All I could say was, fuck it. The second main thing, which is important to realize, is to accept. So accept the noises that are around you. If there's construction work, if there's a radio on, just accept that that's part of life. After or during a meditation, I usually realize that it's so unique that I actually take only 10 minutes of my time to truly be silent for the whole day. I mean, that's like nothing. And there's so much noise around you that it's sort of extra, it makes you extra aware how unique it is to be silent. Just accept that it's there, don't get irritated by it, and just embrace it. You'll see it will also help you having the same mindset throughout the day. All right, so that was it guys. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If so, please leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I'm actually currently really making it my little mission to normalize meditation as well. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with your friends and family that could maybe also use it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Namaste, bitches. Bye.